so we'll vote uh this is the steam 2023 uh 2023 awards basically at the start of december i think it was uh any game could get nominated for any category and basically i mean if you could imagine the most popular games got nominated so we're gonna vote for our steam awards because why not i voted sticker all right so game of the year award i don't want to start there let's start from the ground up 2023 steam awards sit back and relax this game is an antidote to a busy day it's smooth it's relaxing relaxing it lets your worries melt away this game is your moment of zen train sim world <laughs> interesting potion craft coral island i heard good things about coral island and potion craft to be fair but i would never play potion craft is just not my type of game dave the diver and city skylands too well it's gonna have to be um dave the diver for me because i really enjoyed that game like really really enjoyed it like i really like that game it's really good outstanding story rich game award some days only a narrative heavy game will hit the spot all right so this is Baldur's Gate. <laughs> uh best soundtrack um anime game chats of ice and at uh hi-fi rush something i still need to play on stream uh this game was rated very well last of us oh uh, part one i don't think i'll ever play it but yeah the game's good and pizza tower something i've been needing to play but the community kind of turned me off of the game but and i kind of missed it but i i think pizza tower i've listened to the soundtrack a million times and i haven't even played the game i think that's testament enough to how good it is Actually, I'll play the Pizza Tower soundtrack right now while we're going through this. Because the Pizza so Tower soundtrack is so good. Like, I just put it behind streams a lot of the time. Alright, we'll do that. Alright, next game. Best Games You Suck At Award. The third game is called Love Is All Around. I had to see how good it was since it was nominated. Pretty cool. Which one? Oh, this? Love is all around. You bought this? But you bought this for $8, Swift? It's a... Swift, this is a visual novel dating sim, and you... It was nominated. Six girls that are charming, innocent, intelligent, wild, sexy, glamorous, who will go to the end with you if it's up to you. Good for you, man. <laughs> so do a dating sim on stream. Now that I think about it, got to see how you fare on Riz. Would you guys actually want me to play this game? I would cringe so hard. Yeah, no. Okay, thank you. Do five dates. Okay. Tell me what the game is called. Endacopia. Okay, well... Let, hold that thought. Okay, I gotta keep going through this. Wait, this isn't even the best song on Pizza Tower soundtrack. This is chill. I like this. Yeah, this is chill. Best games you suck at award. Overwatch 2. No. Lords of the Fallen. I never heard of this. Weirdly. I've heard of Sifu though. Um, that game looks fun. I'd probably suck at it. FIFA, why is FIFA here? Where's F1 in this category? Well, I don't suck at it, so that's why it's not here. Street Fighter 6. So basically, uh, rewards persistent and is not for the faint of heart. It's the toughest game we've ever loved. Okay, well, I have fine trouble. Where's Wise of P, right? Where's any of the Dark Souls games? Not FIFA, not Overwatch. It's gonna be one of these three. Um, I find it weird that Street Fighter 6 is here. I'll give it to Sifu. I, I, no, I don't know. Most innovative gameplay award. The designers of this game are at the front lines of creative experimentation. Uh, fresh perspective and brain breaking surprises. This game delighted, inspired, and entertained with newness never played before. Starfield. Innovative? No. Shadows of Doubt. This game I've seen and it looks fun. It's like an open world detective game and it's all in like a weird cool art style. I thought that was fun. Contraband Police. 
No. <laughs> Remnant 2. Heard good things about it. Never played it though. Uh, your only move is hustle. Heard about it. Don't know how to play it though. Never known anything. Do you have a Switch? Yes, Rednaz. I played on my Switch yesterday to play Mario RPG. And the only game I played here was Starfield. And I don't even consider that innovative, <laughs> to be honest. It's literally just a Bethesda game. Um, I don't know. This game looks innovative. Probably made from an indie team. What? Remnant? I've never played Remnant. Is Remnant really good? I heard it's, I mean, I heard it's good. It's just I've never played it. Yikes. It's really good. All right, I'll vote it for you. Outstanding Visual Style Award. Visual style doesn't inspire to real-world graphic fidelity. It describes a distinctive look and feel that suffuses an entire game. Okay, yeah, why wouldn't Pizza Tower be here? <laughs> I wouldn't consider this outstanding. This is just good graphics. Um, I mean, High on Life was good, I guess. Now, when we think of nice graphics, dude, look at Darkest Dungeon. Tell me that doesn't look sick. I might be inclined to go Darkest Dungeon. Even though I don't even like the game, personally, this is like not fun for me, because I played it and I just couldn't get into it. I still, the art style is insane. Cocoon, I think I need to play because for some reason it's the indie game of the year. Uh, Better with Friends Award. I still need to play High on Life. I actually, I was playing High on Life for I think I got like 12 or 14 hours in. And it's like funny, right? It's a good game. Um, it just kind of lost me. Maybe I need it to be high on the the Mary Jane to play that game. I wish Hades was there. Dude, yeah, what the... Well, Hades wouldn't be here. This is this year releases, right? Better with Friends Award. There's just some great games out there that just aren't the same when you play by yourself. Maybe you need to have a friend to watch your back. Maybe you need to have a friend that you can stab in the back. Either way, fun is awaiting those who gather friends together to play this game. It's lethal. Oh, party animals, though. Party animals. Okay, well, I've never played Sunken Land. Sons of the Forest, I thought it was a good game. I thought it did a good job of being a sequel to the forest game. Dark Tide, no fucking clue what that is. Yeah, I mean, a Lethal Company will win this, but I'm going to vote Party Animals because I want to give it my support, even though I don't think it's going to win. <sighs> yeah, yikes on Dark Tide. Yikes that I have never played this. Oh, it's mixed. Oh, I guess this was a, a flop game, maybe. Oh, War it's a Warhammer game. That's why I've never played it. And yeah, like refresh this once I go back down. It came out bad. All right, then we won't. Yeah, we won't even. Weed stream is real. Uh uh. No uh. Best game on Steam Deck award. Um, I don't own a Steam Deck, but we'll just uh think about it. With like, which what game is the best here? This game is so good, you want to take it everywhere. So you grabbed your Steam Deck and did. And then it's like, okay, you can buy the Steam Deck right here if you don't have it. Luckily, everything that made it endlessly playable at your desk got even better on the go. Is that Brotato? Yeah, it is. And this is a game I want to play. Why isn't it on my wish? Oh, we should just play it now. No, I got to save this game for later because I want to play it like one. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to play Brotato. That game looks cool. Uh, the Brotato Outlast Trials, which in my opinion, when it was in early access, wasn't worth the price it was putting out but i guess it's fully released now i don't know how much better it is i don't know it's hard to get four friends to pay 30 dollars for a game <laughs> like four people all agreeing to pay 30 dollars but whatever diablo 4 i'm not voting for it sorry uh hogwarts legacy good game dredge a game i wanted to play but it was also just a little too overpriced for me to want to get it well i guess it's like it was like 20 bucks. I wonder what it's at right now. How much are they selling it for now? Yeah, $25 was its normal price. Right now it's going for 18. I just, yeah. I mean, I know the game looks awesome. No offense. Like, I think the game looks sick. But like, the price was a lot for me. So that's why I never bought it. 
Hogwarts Legacy will get you canceled. What? A freaking wizard game. You used to have these four player pack bundles, but I see less of them now. True. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, I'll go Brotato. Because I never, I didn't play any of these games. But Rotato looks funny. Let's see that. Labor of Love Award. This game's been out for a while. The team is well past their debut of their creative baby, but being the good parents they are, their devs continue to nurture and support their creation. The game to this day is still getting new content after all these years. Okay. Not Apex. Um, not Rust. I'm not Red Dead 2. What? Oh, because Red Dead Online. Are they supporting Red Dead Online? Still? Whatever. I, I'm i not going to play Dota 2. Uh, Deep Rock Galactic is, I think, the obvious pick for me. This game is still going strong after so long, and they're still updating it. So, yeah, you'll get my vote. Indie g t team as well, other than big guy, big guy, big guy, big guy. This is the only smaller team, like game development team, compared to these four behemoths. Well, actually, who's Rust? Who makes Rust? Base punch too. Okay, maybe Rust is actually made by a smaller team than I initially thought. Small? Is Deep Rock Galactic not made by a small team? A fun thing to do is get an emulator and play retro NES games. I love the retro feel of Journey to Cilius. That, that could be a move. I say the Hogwarts team was pretty fun, but don't support the creator, but it seems like a good game. Yeah, separate the art from the artist. Coffee Stain, Ghost Ship Games. Yeah, this is a small team, is it not? <coughs> Scoop, why are we barking? <coughs> no, don't bark. What? Stop that. We're not barking today. Bad puppy. Oh, God, I went back. You said Rust. Yeah, is Rust not like a small team? I don't know. Okay, whatever. <laughs> VR Game of the War. Go. <laughs> VR Game of the Year Award. F120. <laughs> I nominated for this. I voted this. Why did I vote this? Oh, you know what I think I did? I think I just put F123 for all the categories when I did the nominations. <laughs> as a joke. Wait, no, that's not true. Because I literally put Lethal Company here and I put Dave the Diver down here. Okay, well, I did this as a joke. I did, I've never played F123 in VR. <laughs> So you like move your head and the car moves, right? Yeah, dude, it's pretty flipping sick. Um, Labyrinth? I think I've... Wait, no. Fraggy played Labyrinth. I've seen this game. I expect you to die three. Has anyone played any of these games? I don't... I'm not picking Gorilla Tag. I know the community there. They're all little children, babies. It, uh, not this one. Should I just... You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I played that game. Yes, expect has a three. Expect you to die. He plays a spy agent. Oh, that's that's a better enough vote for me. That's a good enough vote. All right, game of the year. This is the last one. Uh, they put Resident Evil Four. Happy almost all the fan base have toxic people. Yeah, but sometimes they're more prevalent than others. And Gorilla Tag. Whenever I think Gorilla Tag, I just think screaming babies and poopy diapers. So that's my two cents. Uh, Resident Evil 4 got nominated. Lethal Company got nominated. I'm, I'm probably just going to pick them. FIFA. Sorry. What the fuck? Why, are they, why is FIFA here? Who put FIFA <laughs> game of the year? FIFA? Brother. No, that's troll. They're trolling. Why would they put FIFA here? What other incredible games were there this year? Pizza Tower. So many, like, freaking incredible amount of games. FC 24 game of the year. My game of the year. I think because so many people play it. Yeah, I mean, they. it was, I think it was player nominated. So I guess that could be it. I mean... It's just, wow, that's so weird. That is so weird. That it is not a good game. I can tell you that right now. It has all the same issues from previous years. Who let this game in? 
A lot of my friends only play FIFA. I used to be that person. I used to only play FIFA. FIFA and Rocket League were like my only two games my entire high school and middle school living. And Minecraft, but... I used to only play career mode on FIFA for like... And that would be like the only game I played. But now that I'm older, I've reached out from that. And I don't play FIFA as much as I used to, but... The fact that it, it's even getting nominated for Game of the Year is crazy. Resident Evil 4, Lethal... I'm, I'm going to vote for Lethal Company, but I'm just looking through. Um, Baldur's Gate 3... I mean, it's going to be between these two. And I think Lethal Company will get it. I hope it does. Because I think it, it, it's awesome. <laughs> Made by a solo dev too. Like, it has all the things, right? And it, a lot of people are like, oh, but the game dev's a furry. I don't care. It, who cares if it's the game dev's a furry? They, just like, it, the fact that they're a furry, like, it doesn't influence the game at all. Like, if it doesn't harm anyone, who cares? Like, now if they were, like, a neo-Nazi, I would have been like, oh, that might have been a little bad, but, it, like, nothing negative. I don't care. Yeah, do you see any furries in game? Exactly, right? Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, it's it's between these two. I don't even know why, like, I mean, was the Resident Evil 4 good? But they make Resident Evil games every year. I, I can't keep up with them. It's almost like the new Final Fantasy. Like, is this a remake or is this a new one? I don't know. And I guess Hogwarts Legacy was good. All right. Those are my votes. Uh, game of the year, Lethal Company. VR game of the year, I expect you to die three. Uh, Labor of Love, Deep Rock Galactic. Best game on Steam Deck, uh, Brotato. Better with friends, party animals, Lethal Company will get it. Outstanding visual style, Darkest Dungeon. I really hope Darkest Dungeon grabs that. Most innovative gameplay, Remnant 2. Um, yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, best game you suck at awards, Sifu. Why is FIFA here? Like, look at this. FIFA's here. FIFA's right there. I don't know why FIFA's in most innovative gameplay. Oh, wait. It wasn't even in most of it. Wait, did I? Okay, I, did, I don't think I submitted my vote. Okay, I made a fucky. Uh, sit back and relax. I voted Dave the Diver. Um, there's a couple good games there. Okay, it did count my vote. Best soundtrack, Pizza Tower. I hope it gets it. Sanding Story Rich, Baldur's Gate. There's no chance any of these will win, unfortunately, with Baldur's Gate there. And sit back and relax. Yeah, Dave. So... What was that game called, Wolf? Entropia or something? 